it doesn't define who we are. Yeah. It defines when we do what we do, I guess. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Ollie boy. Good morning, Mary. Hi. Feels like fall out here, doesn't it? It does. I guess this you bringing the camera out makes me realize how weird of a sitter I am. That is kind of weird, honey. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, you yeah. gotta do what you gotta I do. Stretch. Oh, stretch. stretch. There you go, buddy. But it's September 1st and it's nice and cool out here. You need a sweatshirt. Although the sun's feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, it feels pretty warm. But welcome to our day, guys. Peter's out mowing now and um, it's that afternoon just like, ugh. The temperature's kind of going up, just not feeling great. Um, I took Tylenol and then I did a really like calm stretching workout and um, I think it just kind of pushed me through. It was either lay in bed and feel like, eh, eh, I just don't feel right, or push myself, get on the floor, stretch it out a little bit. So that's what I went for, and I'm really thankful that it worked. Um, today, I am heading into my, you know how we go through phases in our house? Like, we'll eat the same thing over and over for a couple of weeks. Do you guys remember the toasted pita with hummus and grilled vegetables on it? Well, that is the phase I'm heading into and I'm really excited about it. Although I don't have any grilled vegetables, I'm just gonna have toasted pita with hummus and Parmesan. Mmm! I just realized I forgot to split the pita in half, which means it's double the amount of bread that I usually eat when I do this. So, we'll see. If I can't finish it though, I bet I could deliver it to Peter on the mower and he could eat it. All right, there's my final product. Mmm, yum, I approve. And then, some extra calories. Hey guys, I just finished mowing the lawn, took a shower, because I got all dusty, all the dirt. And Mary just finished getting all the stuff together for her All About Me box. Yeah, so watercolor stuff and then some two prints and um, three cards. And so then, fun. what? I said so fun. Oh, thanks. Um, this little jar of flowers, leggings, a chronic overcomer shirt. Um, those cookies, these cookies. All about the cookies and the and sweets. And red solo cups. That is so perfect, hon. I'm excited to send it. If you guys don't know what this is, there's a CF fundraiser in Las Vegas that Mary is contributing a, like a, it's like an all about me basket to kind of give a face to who they're supporting. No, so it's going to be like auctioned a, off. Yeah, it's a fundraiser. Yeah. And the money goes to the CF Foundation. So, so cool. So. Yeah. We'll get that in the mail. Okay, I just typed up a letter for whoever gets this basket. And I just basically introduced myself and I explained the things that I've included, like watercolor supplies, and I told the story about how I started painting in the hospital. I included a bundle of flowers to brighten your day, no matter the challenges, big or small. A pair of cozy leggings. I explained how I live in leggings and how it makes me feel like I can just do a handstand whenever I want and actually I found these little um, these little picture prints and so I'm gonna include these so they can get to know me a little bit um, so I thought since I was describing doing handstands I thought this would be a good one to include me doing handstand in the hospital um, one of Peter and Ollie and I and then doing my watercolor prints I explained the overcomer the Chronic Overcomer shirt, a pack of tiny red Solo cups. I explained it and I was like, I hope you can find something much more fun to fill them with than mucus. <laughs> and some yummy treats. I described like the treats that I put in, like the world's best gummy bears. And anyway, so 
I am going to make this box. We got these at like a discount store um, and it's the only box I can find to fit all the stuff in it. So I'm gonna pack this up and off it goes to Las Vegas, Nevada. We just ran out and returned a couple of things. So we just got back to the house. I'm working on my sermon for the next hour and then we're going over to our friend's house for dinner tonight. So yeah, Mary's just uh, getting a little salt intake right now. Feeling super exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> that camera work. Right uh, I'm I'm really good with this camera work right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm pretty out of breath today and um, not feeling as peppy as I have been, but that's okay, that's just part of it. Part of it, it's part of it. Part of it. So we are on our way to our friend's house and I'm sure a little hangout will pep me up. I don't know, it's worth a try. <laughs> Peppy the pig. Wait, Peppy the pig? Peppy? Peppy? What is that? What's the first thing you do when you get home from a friend's house? I get my doggy. <laughs> that was really funny. Whew. I am feeling like pretty out of breathy. Um, we were just hanging out with our friends, which was really fun. And I'm glad that they put up with lots and lots of coughing. But. Here, I'm gonna go start my vest and everything. Okay. Oh, you playing with your doggy? Did you miss him? We're just all hanging out here on the bed while Mary does her best. Go, Mary, go. Go, Mary, go. Ollie boy, I um, I took him outside, and sometimes we he gets what we call zoomies, and he just ran laps around the yard. It was really cute. And then he pooped. And then he came in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I went to dump my Zofran into my hand and it, I completely missed my hand. It went on. You're crazy. Cause it's Friday night. So we all know what that means. What do I call it? Devil night? Devil night. Because I take Zithromax. It's an antibiotic. Um, <coughs> and it makes me, makes me throw up. Struggle is real, so Zofran <coughs> is her friend. I feel like today was kind of a rough day for you. I don't know. Breathing wise, it felt a little bit yeah. more labored, but, yeah. um, but human wise, it was okay. <laughs> it was okay being a human. It was great. So we had a really good time tonight. Hanging out with friends is good. Yeah. It's like there's a point where you ignore your health so that you can be a normal human. And then there's a point where you can't ignore it anymore. And like by the end of the night, I was like, okay, I have to go now. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. But, you know, it's like that weird thing. We don't let my health dictate our... Life. Life. And I think it's it's kind of along the same lines as that, that phrase that people say that, uh, say, CF or whatever the challenge is, doesn't define me. And it's kind of like, I totally get what they're saying. Like, they don't want to let it dictate their life. But on the other hand, sometimes there's the, that line in the sand where it's like, my body is telling me no more. Mm -hmm. And in that way, it kind of, it's inevitable to dictate your life. Because if I ignore my body, it's going to shut down. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it doesn't dictate our life. You know, even though I wasn't feeling great or whatever, I still went out. But then there's a certain point where it's like, well, it, is it kind of yeah. does define, you know, when we do what we do. It doesn't define who we are. Yeah. It defines when we do what we do, I guess. Yeah. It's like we're still us, even if we're in the hospital. 
Yeah. But CF, because I have CF, that's the reason that we're in the hospital, but it doesn't define that we, it doesn't mean we can't be us. <sighs> I don't mm. even know. Does that make sense? I think you need yeah. to define it. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, oh man, no, it does make sense. Like because I, I mean, I, I don't know. I think it's semantics, like how you like think about it and how you define what it means to define you and all that. But yeah. I think Mary and I have realized you can't deny the defining role that CF has in shaping perspective, perspective, and even your personhood and your lifestyle and I guess there's there's unhealthy ways to let it define you and there's yeah. healthy ways to let it define your life and I think for every person that line is different yeah because you know like you and I have a YouTube channel where we talk a lot about CF and oh, part of that I is <laughs> part of that is um, what it's kind of grown to become we didn't set out for that to be the purpose but we've mm -hmm. found that CF awareness and education is part of our our platform our platform yeah and whereas another patient with CF might find that if they were to make videos about CF or something like that it would feel to them like they're focusing on it too much mm -hmm. whereas for me and for Peter and I it's like if people are curious and they want to learn about CF we want to have the information av available and yeah. we're sharing our story and it's like CF has, uh, in some ways, defined you as an educator. Yeah. And so that would so, be like turning it for a good way. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I think so. It's kind of a lot of how you look at it. But yeah. anyways, those are our Friday night thoughts. And all three of us are uh, feeling about the same way. <laughs> so, as, as always, always, we, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night.